you were there for a few years, then you graduated and there was a time you moved to London, right? Like how was that transition? Why London? Uh, wh what happened there? So uh, as we grew the, 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 the software company and be, and Brazil kept going through like this crisis and economics like ups and downs, it became very clear to me that to have something that would be scale and successful and, and, and have any, any level of stability, it needed to cross the border of Brazil and be something international. Uh, especially while we had this early experience where uh, it was also my early experience with open source as a, as a provider, because the, we, we, we had a big project and there was a, a component of the project was this editor uh, in the browser like a, let's say an early version of Google Docs, very early version of Google Docs. And then we, we, we decided to make that open source because we couldn't find any good uh, in-browsing editing tool. Uh, and we opened, there was no GitHub, so there was like SearchForge at the time. We published it, people started translating to every language, like started to, to contribute. And more interesting, some companies from Silicon Valley started to contact us trying to hire our software development company in Brazil because they've seen what is built, the Java's, the quality of the JavaScript code, and what is published on 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 SourceForge, and I, and I was like, uh, yeah, some guys came to came to Virtual Agri, hired us, and we started to make money in U.S. dollars. And for a very small company, with like some classmates at school, at the university, started to make sell products in the, in U.S. dollars, it was like a huge thing. And then I was I was thinking, wow. Uh, Brazil was going to a crisis, but we were selling outside, we were, so we were doing great. And he started to think we should do the, actually be this should be our target. We sh should aim to have cl uh, customers all over the world. Uh, so I told my classmates, as soon as I got I get my degree, I will move to somewhere and open an office, uh, like a sales a sales office somewhere. Maybe. Some people would say maybe the, 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 one of the obvious choice could have been go to San Francisco, but I thought it would be harder to go and compete in San Francisco, right? Or, and, and selling something. And, and I always had a, a dream of uh, uh, getting to know the old world, like the, the Europe uh, attracted me more like on the cultural level. Uh, and I wanted to see and live there for a while. So I decided I was going to go to US and live in California for maybe two, three months. Uh, just to see, get some contact, and then move to, to to Europe. And then London is where I had most of my friends living at the time. Oh, but you uh, did spend a few months in, in California? Yes. I didn't in know in that. San Diego, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, great That's Mexican why it's not food. really. <laughs> Bi biotech companies, there's a Qualcomm, but yeah, no, send, no, no, it's not the same. Uh, <laughs> it, it was more, more actually, it was because I just had my degree. I could then uh, was starting my life as a remote worker. Uh, so back in like 2003, that was when I went into remote work mode. Parties are better in San Diego <laughs> than in San Francisco. If in my, a... my brother was surfing every day. I was living uh... there with him. Like, so it was uh, <laughs> uh, 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 living the California uh, uh, style. Uh, at least the... the um, the dream, like what is the, 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 not the real one, but because people work a lot, but the vision that would, uh, the, I'm going to say the, uh, idealized California. Well, California there are lifestyle. 39 million people in California. So I would say that, you know, there are so many Californians inside California. Um, oh, yeah. But, right. So, but, uh, but then, and the San Diego one is very different than the one in Napa. That's different than the one in LA. That's different than the one in San Diego or Sacramento or, or San Francisco. So, um, but definitely San Diego is not Silicon Valley. Having been there a few times, it's, uh, it's nice. Um, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's close to Mexico. Uh, you know, you can, do I did go party in Tijuana once. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, you can, uh, <laughs> You can cross the border easily, uh, but yeah, but it's not a, um, it's not the same. But then.